Hi everyone, my name is Mary, this is Quinn Inc, and welcome back to Holiday Sock Part 2. So in the thumbnail, as you remember, this is what it looks like. So you should have your 12 granny squares of red and your 9 squares of teal granny squares. Today I'm going to show you how to put this all into a pattern so it looks like a sock slash stocking. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so in order to make this into a pattern, you're going to want to put your granny squares into stacks like this. Put them off to the side. We're going to start with red. And all you're going to do is put them side by side like this, two at a time. And we're going to start with the top of the sock. Now the reason why I call this a sock is because you can make two of these and wear them as socks. Or you can just make one of them and make it as a stocking. So there's the top portion. And then you're going to grab two of your teals and put those in front. And then you're going to grab your other teal and put this one on the bottom. Now this bottom teal right here is going to be folded so that way it makes the heel. Then you're going to grab one more teal like this and put it right there. So you should have a pattern so far that looks like this. Okay, we're almost done. I'm going to scoot those over. So the next we're going to grab is the two red and you're going to put them down like this, scoot it over, and then you're going to have your two teal greens. And these ones are going to be folded like a triangle, and they're going to be put at the top, one at a time like this, one at the top, and one at the bottom. And that is what your foot is going to look like. And the rest of the teal that you have, which you should have three squares, will go on top to make a second layer. So when you fold this over, you'll have that heel that you're looking for. And then of course the rest of your red will just go on top. And this is how you will make your stocking so that way you can actually put items into the stocking. And I'll pull it out so you can see it. So that is what it will look like. And at the very top up here, we're actually going to do a single crochet border. And then we're going to do half double crochet stitches to make it wider. Okay, so let's get started on how to connect all of these wonderful little squares. Okay, so I moved my sock over to the left. And I'm grabbing my H8 5 millimeter hook. And I'm also going to grab my white yarn. We're going to do single crochet stitches in order to connect these. So let's start with the foot right here. So when you want to crochet these together, you want to look at your, your granny squares and see if you want this as your front or this as your back. And whichever one you're going to choose, so I'm going to choose this one as the front. I'm going to put them back to back like this or if you want them the other way you'll put them back to back like this to where they're facing you. We're going to start in a corner right here and just put our hook in there. Grab our white yarn and let's join it together. And the only and the way that I like to join is I just like to tie a knot. And you can use whatever color you would like to join these together. So if you don't want to use white, you don't have to. Um, you can also use whatever color you would like for the granny squares. You can also make them all in one color. So we're going to join it and we're going to chain one. And then we're going to go back into that same stitch that we originally went into, so both the front and the back granny squares. Pull up a loop. Oops, I'm going to make this one a little tighter. Pull up a loop. Two loops on your hook. Grab your yarn, pull through both loops, and that is how you make a single crochet. 
And all I'm going to do is go under both bars of the granny squares like this, one on one side, one on the other, just like that. And then I'm just going to pull my yarn through both of those stitches. And all I'm going to do is single crochet across to the end. And when I get to this middle section, you have two choices. You can either go into the actual stitches or you can just go right into that spacing. I'm just going to go right into the spacing. It's just be easier for me. And then I'm just going to go find the stitches like so. And I'm just going to single crochet across the top. Going under both bars. And then when I get to the end, I'm just going to single crochet. And that's how you single crochet across the top. Now because this is our foot, we're going to pull it out and I'm going to try and fold it. So I'm laying it flat like this and then I'm going to fold it over on both sides. And then I'm going to put it up against the two reds and this is how I want it to look. So I'm going to grab those two sides and fold it back and then I'm going to single crochet across the top. So we're going to keep going. So in this spacing I'm going to make three double crochets. Now you don't have to make three double crochets but that'll just make a turn for you. Um, you can make two double crochets if you'd like. And then I'm just going to single crochet right across that top part just like this into the spacing and into all three stitches across the top just like this and one more single crochet into that last stitch and that is what it will look like you can pull your hook out and then you grab the two sides like this and fold them out. And that is how the single crochet is going to look along the foot. Okay? And so what I'm going to do with this one is another way you can do this instead of tying off is you can grab the red one right here and put it next to the green. And then go right under both the red. Okay, so then we're just going to go into the red like this. And I'm going to single crochet once. And then I'm going to find this stitch and the one on the red like this. So on this side, it'll be this first double crochet on this side and the first double crochet of the teal, pull through and single crochet. And I'll do this three times so you can pull it apart so you know where you're, where the stitch is that you're going to put your hook into like this. Then I'm going to single crochet into the space like this. And now this is where I had tied off on my granny square, so I'm just going to pick this little space right here. And then I'm going to go into this one right here, pull through, pull through, and make a single crochet. and one more stitch. And there we are. And I'm just going to pull this out and then I'm going to fold the red over and I'm going to pull this back like this 
So it makes a triangle and that is what our granny square looks like connected. And now for this one, I'm actually going to fasten off right here. And I know that the foot itself, so as you can see, this is the front part of the sock. And this is the first part of the red granny square. This is going to be the bottom of the granny square of this one. And so for this one, I'm going to connect these two as well. Now another way that you can do this is you can actually if you would like, I'm going to pull them over, connect them two by two by two, kind of like this. So two of the teal, these two teal, these two red ones, the two red ones in the back, and you can keep going like that. That is another way that you can do it. I just like to start on the foot because these are going to be folded to look like a foot. Okay, so that is how we're gonna do this red square. So then the next one, I'm gonna do this red square. Okay, so in order to do this red square to this green square, we're now going to take the red one and hold it on the side like this. And kind of fold it over so it's flat like this. Okay, so I know that these top parts right here are going to be crocheted and I'm actually going to go into the stitches like this and I'm going to connect them. I like to make my tail a little bit longer so that way I can tie in my sew in all my strings. Okay, there we go. We are all set. Now we're just going to pull up a loop, chain one, go back into that stitch for a single crochet. And then I'm going to go into each stitch across like this in single crochet. And all I'm doing now is making a border for my sock. And this is one last stitch right here. And then we're going to put another stitch right here. And again, this is where I tied off one of my, my granny squares. So I'm just going to try and find a space where I can put my hook into. Now we're nearing the closeness of this granny square and this, this green granny square and the red granny square. So I'm going to do the last stitch here and then I'm going to go right into this space right here. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is, is I'm also going to connect the two red granny squares together because if we pull out our hook when you fold it so we had it folded like this okay and then when you fold this piece down the two red granny squares will be connected like this so that way you've connected all four squares together so I'm going to fold it back and replace my hook. And what we're going to do is, is I'm actually going to take this stitch right here and I'm going to go into this stitch from the teal and then I'm going to go into these two spaces right here grab my yarn, pull, hold this because this is my stitch 
and then pull and make a single crochet and that is how you connect all the squares together. There are so many different ways of how you connect the squares together like that. That is one method that I know. Okay, and then all I'm going to do now is find each of the three single crochets. And what I mean by three single crochets is these are the three single crochets from the granny square. And I'm going to single crochet into each of these three stitches on the top. And I like to pull over my granny square so I can see the second granny square and I know where all my stitches are going into. Just like this, pull it over. And one more stitch. Okay. I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to kind of flatten this piece like this so it turns into a triangle. And that is the first portion of the sock is going to be the four squares. Okay, so I just wanted to apologize because I called these single crochets when they are actually, I meant to say double crochets because as I was single crocheting, I was thinking about the single crochets. So it's actually, you're going to go into each of the double crochet stitches to single crochet into each of the double crochets. I hope that is a good clarification for all of you. This was part two of the holiday sock and I hope you enjoyed crocheting the four granny squares together. In the next part I'm going to show you how to crochet the two red squares to the two green squares and that one will be in holiday sock part number three. In each part I'm going to show you how to crochet this whole entire sock together square by square using the single crochet method. So stick around so we can get this sock finished. I will see you next time.